Alrighty, so let's let's do this. I'm, I think this is going to be a good challenge. A foreign-born rebuild, so we can't use any players from the United States of America. So any American on the roster, the, the MLB roster, is going to be traded. So I'm trying to think of a team still. I, I, I think I got one in mind. So let's hop into it. Let's have some fun. Alrighty, so guys, we're going to use the Braves. I'm thinking Acuna, Albies. Those two are really the big two that came to mind. So if you guys want to see some more rebuild challenges like this, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always, let me know in the comment section some future challenges that we could do together. So contracts, we'll leave them on, off for, you know, ignore budgets off, force trades off, all that stuff. We're going to obviously control everything. And let's, let's take a look. Let's try to make some trades. There are going to be no American trades players so let's take a look at the lineup really quick so in Ciarte, that works Marquecas we can't use Freddie Freeman we can't use Acuna we can Donaldson we can't McCann we can't Austin Riley we can't Albies we can and Swanson we can um, Johan Camargo we can that's really about it so we got one two three four players we can use on the team um, anybody in the minors that we could pull up right away no okay so that makes th things a little bit difficult when we look at the pitching rotation we have Tehran and that's it <laughs> just just uh just uh Tehran Alrighty, first trade we're making Pablo Lopez of Venezuela for Fultonavich just a straight swap next trade we're doing is Soroka for and uh, AJ Graffinino Graffa, yeah, Graffanino for Jose Barrios of the Twins. All right, CJ Alexander, Kevin Gosman, and Dallas Keuchel for Reynaldo Lopez. I'm going to try him out. I don't think we've ever used him in a rebuild. And if he doesn't work out, we can always trade him away later. All right, Jason Creasy, Wes Parsons, and Sean Newcomb for Yoni Chirinos of Venezuela, well, of the Rays as well. So I think that's the starting rotation sorted. Um, we definitely got to figure out the bullpen now and then the rest of the team. Alrighty, Kyle Wright and Ian Anderson are making way for our catcher. I might even throw Brian McCann in and see if we can get somebody else involved because we are going to need a backup catcher. Um, let's see, can we get Martin? All right, we'll do this. Wilson Contreras and Martin Maldonado um, for Brian McCann, Ian Anderson, and Kyle Wright. Alrighty, Freddie Freeman, Luke Jackson, and Izzy Wilson for Javi Baez. I mean, we're, we're completely tearing this Braves team up. All right, we're going back to the White Sox. Um, Jose Abreu, Alex Colome for Josh Donaldson, Jacob Webb, and Colby Allard. Dansby Swanson for a setup man or a closer, and Rizel Iglesias and Yasiel Puig. All right, Darren O'Day for Joe Jimenez. We obviously threw in a couple low-rated players as well, but now I think the last thing we have to do is our bench and our bullpen, so we're not too far off of a full foreign squad. Daniel Winkler for Austin Bryce. Um, of I think he's... Taiwan actually not China I don't know all right you guys can see the trade here for Alex Claudio a lefty for us all right we're getting O of the Rockies um just because Blevins has like no trade value um when we just need another foreign born reliever all right we're going for broke here <laughs> Luis Castillo for Austin Riley and Julio Tehran I just don't like Tehran as a starter um I'm just finishing out the bench now Alrighty, Charlie Colberson, Tyler Flowers for Teoscar Hernandez. It's not the most exciting trade, but I still need to show you guys what we're doing. And then Nick Marquez for Richard Rodriguez. I think that's it. Let's see what the squad looks like. Alrighty, so this is the team for season one. We basically cleared house on our farm system. So future trades are going to be very difficult. We're going to have to trade away players that we have on like the major league squad. So um, Castillo, Chirinos, Barrios, Lopez, and Lopez. <laughs> um, I, I don't know why that was funny to me Chirinos Barrios Lopez and Lopez but then we have Gohara Bryce Jimenez O Claudio Calame Rodriguez and then um, Iglesias and for our lineup this is what we're working with Inciarte Acuna Abreu Baez Contreras Puig Hernandez Albies and Camargo on the bench we have Christian Villanueva who was in free agency Asuaje who was in free agency and Maldonado obviously we traded with the Cubs so overall I like the team the issue is we don't really have a farm system anymore, so we really need to focus on that. We do have Christian Pache, who could help us out next year, um, I'm hoping. 
maybe next year, maybe a couple years probably. Um, but we'll we'll see how things go. I look to kind of see it like what our our budget and stuff we was we were gonna have, and we should be we should be fine to keep the majority of our players. I'm just worried about season three. I think season three is where we're gonna have a huge problem budget wise. We can draft players still, so that's gonna be a good thing. So we'll see how things go. Let's hop into season one. I'll catch you guys at draft day. So I forgot to mention in the draft we can only sign or draft foreign born players too, which means I probably should have hired all international scouts so we could get a bunch of international players. And I kind of realized that like halfway through the scouting process. So our picks are pretty bad. Um, you guys can see what we got work like what we're working with here. Nothing, nothing good at all. Um, this guy's okay, Tom Lee. Um, I had to pass up on so many good prospects, so many good draft picks because they weren't foreign born. So here's our draft class for season one. Pretty bad. All right. So I would say season one went very well. The thing is, I think some of our lower rated players are like some of our most surprising players and our best players kind of let us down. So let's, that's just my feeling. We're going to take a look. We went 107 and 55. So, I mean, obviously something like everybody had to contribute, but. We'll take a look. Oh, actually, no league leaders. Okay. Awards. Uh, Contreras, Abreu, Albies, Acuna, and Inciarte all, all got gold gloves. But let's take a look. Let's take a look at the bullpen. Gohara up to, you know, a 71. So he went up quite a bit. Decent year. Not too bad. Bryce was very good. So he looks like he's pretty solid. Um, Joe Jimenez. Sung Juan O oh, looks very bad. Um, Richard Rodriguez struggled. Colome was good. Claudio was good and Iglesias was good. So besides like two arms in the bullpen, most most of them were very con you know consistent, very solid. And when we look at our starting rotation, actually everybody did very well. Um, Castillo had our highest ERA, and I mean a three five. It's not terrible. His WHIP was low. I like I like what I see from our starting five. It was very strong, very strong. So let's take a look at the lineup. I think our bench did okay. Aswahe actually picked it up at the. Uh, Trade deadline, he was at like a 220. So he he must have like really caught fire second half of the season. In Ciarte, okay. Acuna struggled a little bit, but he's still going up. So I'm not going to freak out about it. Abreu hit the ball very well. 44 homers, 106 RBIs. Jeez. Uh, Baez had a good year. Contreras had a solid season. Puig was very good. 280, 27 home runs. Teoscar Hernandez, not a bad, not a bad bench bat DH kind of first player, well, you know. Um, Albies definitely needs to be moved up in the lineup. He only hit 240, but you know what? He's still gonna, he still needs to be moved up. And then Johan Camargo, not too bad, not too bad. I mean, 250, wish it was a little bit better, but still not terrible. So that's, that's really about it. You know, we can't really worry about the minors or anything like that because I don't think we really have any prospects besides uh, our center fielder, Christian Pache. So besides that, let's just hop into the play, uh, the postseason. The playoffs, I almost said the play season. I mixed up postseason and playoffs together. So let's take a look. We're taking on the Dodgers, and we're facing elimination right away. Not not the best or most ideal situation. So we're going to have Barrios take the mound for us. We're going against the Dodgers, like I've mentioned. Verdugo, Taylor, Bellinger, Muncy. So, I mean, looking at the team, it's, it's the standard Dodgers lineup. We're going against Walker Bueller, so a definite... You know, it's a definitely a tough matchup. It's just, it's a it's a tough matchup. So first and second with one out, then the pitcher. It comes down to the pitcher. Unfortunately, nothing happens. And Albies walks. That's good. We got a man on. Can we take advantage of it though? Fielder's choice. So we got corn runners at the corners with Camargo up and Camargo goes deep, gives us that three run lead. And now it's a two run lead after Bellinger goes deep. So we just gotta we just gotta hold the lead. Stay strong. You know, Barrios is pitching quite well. Camargo's having himself a day. He's three for three. All right, so we got one out. Ooh, a runner was thrown out at home, but we do extend the lead back to three. So that's good. Barrios is doing quite well on the mound. Um, Alves is, I think he's got a couple walks, maybe two walks. Baez brings in two, and we got a five-run lead. So that's good. Bases loaded with two outs, and unfortunately nothing happens there. Bases loaded, no outs. So we definitely need to go. I'm going to. I'm going to wait till they bring in their pinch hitter. So we're going to go to the lefty, Claudio. He gets one out. All right, one run does score. We're going to go to the righty now, Colome. And we get out of that inning. I meant to take out Colome, but he gets on. So I guess I can't freak out about that. Um, let's pinch run for him anyways. 
Who do we have that's got a little bit of speed? Um, let's go Teoscar Hern uh, Hernandez. Let's go with the sack fly. We'll make it a five run game. And then let's bring, we don't need to bring in the closer. So we'll bring in Rich Rodriguez and we get out of it. So we win seven to two, which is solid. Um, I, I kind of want to sim it, but then I don't at the same time we lose. We got whooped 12 to two. So we simmed it obviously, but I feel like for season one, that's a good start. We 107 and 55. That's a good year. We have a good base to build with. The Dodgers lost to the Astros in the postseason. Let's see if anybody retired. I don't think anybody would retire. Oh, oh, that makes sense. Oh, duh. Um, so we're going to need another bullpen arm for sure. So let's see who we bring back. Exclusive negotiations. I feel like Abreu is a very solid first baseman. And then when you think of foreign first basemen, there aren't too many. So let's do at least one more year. You know, one year, seven and a half million is not bad. Puig, I feel like we could get another right fielder that's you know or another outfielder that's foreign especially for 12 13 million we'll let him walk maldonado he may not be the best of hitters or anything but he's a, he's a decent catcher who you know he does what he needs to do and then the rest andres blanco he's foreign we'll keep him <laughs> um we'll try to keep him as long as possible and we'll let the rest walk puig i just don't feel you know like we should pay him that much just because i feel like we can get a little bit younger um outfielder so arbitration wise we're gonna obviously give everybody here besides duvall duvall's not getting one and contracts we'll just give everybody a contract that way we don't have to worry about trying to fill up the minor leagues some other time all right start season two what we're gonna do is we're gonna trade victor arano for alex colome i just want to get a little bit smaller contract that's why i was doing it Alrighty, Teoscar Hernandez and Rizel Iglesias for Giovanni Gallegos and Junior Fernandez. Again, we're trying to open up a little bit of cap space because I know at the end of the year, we're going to have to pay some arbitration increases as well as uh, some contracts. Alrighty, so season two, we made a couple moves. I'll show you them. Um, I think it makes the team a little bit stronger just because we be able to keep our players for season three. I think that's how we're going to be stronger if we can keep the same team. So let's take a look. At our lineup, you guys can see Enciarte still here. We got Asuahe, who I'm probably going to move down in the lineup. Actually, I know I definitely should move him down. Maybe we'll put Albies too. We brought in Al uh, Avisayil Garcia just because we needed a right fielder. He's played right field before, and he was like three, four million cheaper than what um, Puig was. That was really the only change to the lineup. Christian has moved up in the lineup as or into the Major League squad. Outside of that, that's really the squad. It's basically identical to what it was last year. It's the pitching that's made the most changes. We've obviously talked about the trades. Junior Fernandez has been brought up um, or been brought in. Giovanni Gallegos is going to be our closer. And then Victor Arano is going to be part of our setup crew. So overall, the team looks really solid. I like what we have going on here. I'm really tempted to put um, Bryce here, but we'll, we'll leave it how it is. I like our squad. I think we've put together a really good team. Obviously, we had to make a lot of trades, but for a foreign-born squad, this, this the team's nice. The team's really, really good. So let's hop into season two. Let's see if we can make it past that first round of the playoffs this year. At the deadline, we're gonna be trading Richard Rodriguez. He's just not not really doing much for us. We're gonna trade for Wander Suero of the Nationals. I looked at other like foreign uh, relievers, and I just haven't really found any that I'm like, ooh, I want him on my team. Jose Leclerc's usually hit or miss. And then when you look through the rest of them, I mean, there's a couple that are really highly rated. Luis Perdomo is a player I was interested in, and he's actually not too far off. So maybe we go actually Luis Perdomo instead. Let's see if we can somehow get a, a trade with the, the Padres because Perdomo actually looks like he'd be a really good player. And let's see if we can get that done. So I need to get rid of this low rated player and add a little bit higher rated player. So let's add, there we go, Tristan, Tristan Beck. Riley Delgado and Richard Rodriguez for Luis Perdomo. Not too sure what changed besides a couple players, obviously, but season two didn't go as well. You know, we were 95 and 67. We're a wild card team taking on the Padres. Um, we had a couple league leaders. Chirinos obviously looks like he's going to be a, a good pitcher to pick up. And then we have uh, a couple gold gloves as well. So let's take a look. Lineup wise, it looks like maybe the bats. I, I mean, I don't think the bats were terrible either, though. I mean, most of them are hitting around 300. Carlos S. Wahe. Excuse me. What are these numbers? 
unreal um, when you look at our bench not terrible either so um, for the most part it looks like everyone's having a pretty solid year around 30 home runs plus for almost everybody um, except for Asuahe and Camargo and when we look at the pitching Chirinos did very well Reynaldo Lopez struggled a little bit he'd be a player I'd be looking to trade um, maybe the bullpen was where we struggled yeah Victor Rano wow Okay, Bryce did well. Perdomo was okay. Fernandez struggled a little bit. Jimenez struggled. Man, I um, was put Bryce in the setup role. Claudio did well, and Giovanni Gallegos. I mean, pretty solid as well. I don't understand why he's going down. I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. Uh, it's looking like our bullpen. Our bullpen was our our uh, downfall this year. So let's just uh, let's quick quick manage this game against the Padres see how things go hopefully we don't get destroyed hopefully we can advance um, Tatis would be a player I would like to get I don't know how we're gonna manage that but it would be nice to see if we could swindle the Padres and get Tatis jr. Uh, ooh, Wilson Contreras gives us the lead one nothing alrighty that's a good start tie game thanks to Austin Hedges of course, it's Austin Hedge. It's always the ones that you don't expect to do damage that does like that that do the damage. So when we looked at the pod, I should probably look at the Padres team again. So we got one out first and second. The pitchers up, and Ciarte brings home one. And then looking at their lineup, they do have Kipnis. I think that's the only change really to their lineup. So we got a oh we got a walk, and then we go down. Oh we don't go down after that, but we still have that one run lead. Hunter Renfro stole a base, really? And a th Jason Kipnis gives him a two-run lead. And uh, it's looking like our bats have gone quiet since that that sec that first run, really. That's really where it kind of went quiet. Acuna's having a day. He's been walked quite a bit, though. But eighth inning, we got a man on first. First and second now. Or no, just, first, or just second. Oh, and the runner was thrown out. So that could have been a, a one-run lead instead. We're going to go to... We'll go Claudio, singles, okay, we'll go Austin Bryce then, and we get out of it, so it's it's down to the ninth, Luis Cast or Jose Castillo is on the mound, and we go down one, two, three, I know we let the pitcher swing, but still, that's disappointing, once again, we go down, so I think this season we're going to do a big shakeup, um, we're going to trade some players, we're going to acquire new players, obviously, um, but this is, I'm thinking of a big, a big change, happens for season three because those first two years was really really disappointing not to make it past that first round and this time we didn't even make it past the wild card so let's take a look it just sucks that when i'm thinking i think about it i just don't think there are many good foreign first basemen so we'll withdraw the contract how did garcia do he he did well he actually had like a career year so let's give him a one-year deal and then maldonado he did pretty well but he's 34 so we're gonna we're gonna go to a new backup catcher if we need it and then we're gonna keep going forwards and let's see what we have the 40 man nobody um obviously we'll we'll work with arbitration here and then contracts wise we're, we'll give everybody a contract as well season three we're starting with a doozy of a trade like i'm talking a massive trade here like this is this is big this one's big Ronaldo Lopez, Drew Waters, and Johan Camargo for Luis Severino of the Yankees. I like this trade a lot. Whew, this is going to make us stronger. Alrighty, Victor Arano, Tuki Tucson, and Kyle Muller for Miguel Andujar. He's going to be our new third baseman. Alrighty, we're getting Edward Holmes, a player we found in free agency. I know this is kind of a big trade because they're they're all like prospects, but this is going to be our last year, and I said we're making big, big switch-ups. Jose Osuna is one of the better free, like, foreign born first baseman so we're gonna we're gonna pick him up alrighty so I made a few changes you guys saw him through the trades and this is what we're looking like for the final season season three Barrios Castillo Chirinos Severino definitely needs to move up a little bit um and then Pablo Lopez we got Kohara Perdomo Bryce Gallegos Fernandez Jimenez Claudio and then we brought back Alex Calame I think he's gonna be a good closer he had a really good year last year and we probably should have kept him with the way some of our um, bullpen arms panned out. And Ciarte is going to keep his spot in center. We have Albies, Acuna, Baez, Contreras, Andujar at third, Osuna at first, Avisail Garcia, and Asuaje on the bench. We have Andres Blanco, Christian Villanueva, and Christian Pache. So um, I really don't know what to expect. 
um, especially since we've done pretty poorly the last two seasons when it comes to playoffs. So hopefully this is the year. The only trade we're going to be making at the deadline is for Nomar Mazzara of the Rangers. He looks pretty solid. He's having a good year. He's hitting like 300. Um, this is a this is a, this is clearly a, a typo. He's not making 4,294.9 million. That I don't know what's going on. That's clearly a glitch. Um, we're also trading. So these were two draft picks, I think. Shea Langlier, Jeffrey Ramos, and Avisail Garcia. So yeah. That's the move we're making. Alrighty, so the last season, we finished 99 and 63. We're taking on the Reds in the division series. Um, so yeah, the NLDS, I should say. League leaders, Baez for slugging and war. And then Luis Castillo had the most innings, the best ERA, and the best war for a pitcher, which is good to see. Good to see. Definitely got some awards. Gold gloves. We didn't win any MVPs, no Cy Youngs, anything like that. So Inciarte was very very good like he just he just hits very consistently as the albies definitely got really good this year 36 homers 105 rbis acuna had his best year in terms of average on base percentage slugging and ops home runs were about the same rbis dipped a little bit but overall very solid season javi baez 42 homers 120 rbis a 334 average 385 on base 66 633 on uh, slugging and a 1018 OPS. How did he not win MVP? I mean, the RBIs and homers are there, but man, Javi Baez killed it. Um, Contreras, pretty solid. 38 home runs for a catcher. That's like unheard of nowadays. Andujar, solid season. Mazzara, 323 with almost 40 homers and 111 RBIs. Jeez. Osuna did very well. Almost 20 home runs, almost a 300 average. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's take a look at our pitching. Barrios, very, very good. Holy cow. Low whip, low ERA. Castillo, very solid as well. Severino struggled, which is kind of scary to think about. Chirino struggled, and Pablo Lopez struggled. So our 3-4-5 kind of kind of struggled. So did Gohara. Perdomo did well. Jimenez, yeah, yeah. Giovanni Gallego struggled as well. Fernandez struggled, but Bryce, Claudio, and Calame, you know, they were decent. But again, it's looking like uh, some pitching, some bullpen help was uh, a little bit of an issue. So we lose the first, we win the second, and it all comes down to this. What's going to happen? Sun Trust, so we are at home. We're going to bring Barrios in to pitch. And looking at the squad, they obviously have Swanson from the trade that we made with them. They've brought in David Peralta, Jay Davis. I'm not too sure who that is at third. Um, Pedro Severino behind the plate. So second and third, one out. Oh, J.D. Davis. That's who they have at third. Um, fielder's choice. And then Votto clears the bases. Ooh, okay. Albies makes it a two-run game. We got runners on the corners. We're not able to take, you know, a, a just we're not able to take advantage of it. We don't get the run there. We started off with the double, which is good. And then Acuna ties it, so three to three. All right. So, so far, so good. Osuna gets on with one out. We take the lead thanks to Mizara, which is good. Barrios is about half. So, if we can give us maybe one more inning, that would be amazing. Acuna extends the lead for us. And I think that's going to be his last inning. So, when next time Barrios comes up, we are going to take him out, which is now. We're going to pinch hit. We're going to bring in... We'll bring in Christian. We'll see how he does. He gets out. That's unfortunate. So, we'll bring in... We'll bring in Gallegos. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Not great. Not great at all. Uh, Bryce gets us out of it. So we do have a one-run lead. Still has that one-run lead. Eighth inning. Bryce is kind of our setup guy. So... um, We'll go Perdomo for one. He hits the guy, of course. And then we'll go Claudio. Pinch runner. Fly out. Strike out fly out perfect so he's we, we got a set up for the ninth um Mizara gets in another run so we get that insurance run back we're gonna pinch hit obviously facing a lefty we'll bring in Villanueva and he gets walked and then NCRT grounds out so it all comes down to Kalame can he shut the door he does. Whew. We advance for the first time in the rebuild. We're taking on the Dodgers. Barrios just, just pitched. So we'll just we'll bump them down a couple spots and we'll look like that. So let's take a look. Let's see. We're going against the Dodgers. They beat us in season one. 
So can we get some revenge? We're facing elimination right now, which is not good at all. So again, we're at home. We'll let Luis Castillo take the mound. And Verdugo, Taylor, Bellinger. So Jake Lamb's new. Outside of that, they're all Dodgers players. Oh, way to make it difficult. Way to make it difficult. Luis Castillo. Whew. Obviously, facing Kershaw is going to be a tough matchup. Bases loaded, no outs. There's no way we get out of this unscathed. And that's that's it. He's gone three innings. He's, his stamina is like, depleted. So we're going to need to go hard to kind of help us out here. We're down three. And it's still three. It's just facing Kershaw. We're, we're in a very tricky spot, you know. And, I mean, he gave us, what, three innings? So if we can get maybe one more out of him. Cunha brings us back. It's only a one-run game now. Can Okay, Gohara, next time you're up, we're going to pinch hit for you, which is now. We're going to bring in Villanueva. Unfortunate. Um, couple lefties. Let's have him face Claudio. Perfect. All right, so we got two innings remaining against Kenley Jansen. Really? Okay. So single starts it off right. Unfortunate for us. So they bring in a righty. Let's go. Let's go, Bryce. Oh, that one hurts. That one hurts a lot. Um, we don't have another lefty in the bullpen. Um, I guess we'll just go Perdomo. Gets us out. We're down two. Can we do it? Julio Urias is their closer now. And that. That's that's the season. That's the rebuild all right there. So the foreign squad was unable to win any World Series. We did make it to the NLDL, NLCS. I almost said NLDS. The NLCS um, and just, just fell short. Just fell short. Um, obviously, the pitching. The pitching was what killed us. Just had nobody we could rely on. Gallego struggled. Bryce struggled. Claudio struggled. Colome struggled. Jeez. Um, our starters a little bit as well. Chirinos. Whew. Um, I think the lineup is our the best part of what we have here. You know, Andujar struggled. But overall, I feel like the offense is there. It's the defense. Not the defense. It's the pitching that was a little bit unreliable. So if you guys want to see an all-American rebuild, make sure you hit the like button down below. We'll try to get that one out this weekend. The more likes, the more I know you guys want to see more rebuild challenges. Subscribe if you're new and enjoying the content. Like I've been saying. We're very close to 15,000 subs. Let's try to hit that by the end of the month. It would be amazing. And then comment section. Let me know future rebuilds you want to see. That's going to wrap it up, guys. I hope you did enjoy the video. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.